Safari is this little compass icon down here. And it's the built-in default browser in Apple. Uh, you can have other browsers, like I have Chrome here. I use Chrome most of the time. But Safari is the default browser, and that can't be changed. Um, any app that you have that has a link is going to be opened in Safari, not in Chrome. And you can have uh, links from just about any place. And I'm going to in my email. As you know, links in an email message should be viewed with suspicion. If this was a PC, you would hover over the link and read the URL. On an iPad or iPhone, you would do a long press of the link if you wanted to see where it was going to take you. And then you can see that it shows me that this link is going to take me to vrcc.info. I can open it, I can add it to my reading list, I can copy it, or I can cancel it. I'm going to cancel it for right now. I'm going to go into um, Safari. And let me go into Safari on the iPad as well. And we're going to see that the controls are a little bit different. You have the back and forth tabs are down here. The bookmark is down at the bottom also. The share icon, the little box with the up arrow, is on the bottom. And the pages is on the bottom. What you will not see is a, a plus sign to add new tab and the individual tab controls that we can go to tab, tab, tab. Uh, those are not there. That does not mean, oops, that does not mean that uh, the phone does not have tabs. In fact, they are here. You have to tap on that Pages icon, and it will show you all the pages uh, that you have open, all the tabs. You can close them. Um, okay, I'm going to close that one. I'm going to close that one. I can add a new one. Let's just go to someplace else. Yeah. Yeah. Who? And that's how you would open a new tab so that you can switch back and forth with tabs on a phone. On an iPad, you just plus, press the plus, and we could go to Yahoo. But let's go back to Google. So we have a um, we we have the search and the URL uh, navigation combined in one box. So we can type anything we want in here, and when we type Yahoo, if I press and hold the period, I get some common extensions, US, Edu, Net, and Org. And so if I press and slid up, of course, we get Yahoo.com. Um, let's instead make it chocolate. Remember the Yahoo chocolate drink? So, yes, you can go to, you can navigate, or you can search out of that box. If you have had multiple pages open, you will get a back or a forward. I can tap on the back to go back to a page. I can tap to forward to go forward. I also can navigate to those by grabbing the edge of the page and sliding, grabbing the edge of the page and sliding. When I scroll up, my controls are going to disappear. I can either tap on the URL, google.com, to get them to come back, or I can tap at the bottom of the screen to get them to come back, whichever is mo most natural feeling for you. Each individual tab will have uh, their own back and forth buttons. 
and again there's my tabs and they will each have their own back and forth buttons that will have different information and I haven't gone back and forth anywhere here so I'm not going to see that. On the pages, besides having the plus, there's also private. It gives you in private browsing. This is a way to not leave any cookies, not use any of your built-in IDs. It's nice for um, all sorts of things. You really, if you haven't used it, you really should find out more about it. And then I switch back from private browsing to in private to regular browsing, private. Let's just add a page here. Oh, there's my page. And if I come back, if I I can um, swipe it off to close it, or I can X, and I can go back and forth, private and private. When you visit any website, the web, the web designer can make it so that um, you get a different page depending on what operating system, what browser, what screen resolution you have. Here we have um, the Vista Royale site as you see it in the lab or as you see it when you visit it on a PC. Here's our same Vista Royale site. And you will see that it has the same content. It's just arranged differently to be on a um, on the smaller screen. Other times, You get a clear indication that you're on a mobile site because it will say mobile in the um, URL. Or sometimes it says m dot and then the domain name. So mobile dot the domain name or m dot the domain name usually means you're vi viewing a mobile site. Also you will notice that the little icon up here is a little bit different than you would normally see. That shows that there's a reading version available. So I can take this article and strip out ads and pictures and just make a nice reader or I can flip back and then it has all of the uh, pictures and ads with it. Oh, not that menu. That was the um, menu inside the app. What I wanted was that, that icon. Also, let's look at the, the Vista Royale app again. You see we have the menu there. <coughs> On mobile. You have a hamburger menu there, and it gives you all the same options. They're just off to the side. So if we want to navigate to, say, the um, calendar, there is the calendar for the week. VRCC, and that's how you navigate around the VRCC site when you have the mobile version. Now we have the pinch and the spread, spread, pinch, to change the reading. Also we can make it bigger by just changing it to landscape. When I do this, when I read, read in this manner, I've got to make sure that I don't go to the edge or I start flipping back to pages. Okay. 
Let's look at bookmarks. Bookmarks gives you reading lists and any kind of bookmark that you might have here, you can add bookmarks very easily. Reading lists, these are nice because you can take content and save it for offline reading. So if you're going to, um, if you're getting your internet at the clubhouse and you want to bring something home to read, you would add it to your reading list. And um, bookmarks are just a safer way to navigate to your favorite sites. Let's go to the share icon. I could share this. I could share this link in a message in a email. I could add it to my reminders or my notes. I could save PDF to iBooks. I could also add to favorites, add a bookmark, add to the reading list, add to the home screen so I could have a link on the home screen, make a copy or print. I have an AirPrint I have an AirPrint printer on my network, so I could just uh, come in and print. Very limited printing. I can print uh, a range of pages. I can do double-sided. I can do black and white or color. But uh, not as many options as you would get on a PC. But you can print from your iDevice. Also on... <clears throat> Also on the share icon, you can find the um, search to search some, for something on the page. And it, it will highlight it in yellow. And also on the share icon is request a de desktop version. Sometimes get you the desktop version when you're looking at a mobile version. And then there's the pages again. Again with the private and regular browsing, adding a tab. There's a tab off uh, that was opening a favorite. I can search in here if I was looking for a very various page I can close these by um, xing them out or dragging them off you see that this one has several pages on your phone you're going to want to check this if you get too many pages in here you're going to um, use a lot of memory so you're going to want to click through these, you can swipe swipe them off or you can X them out in the corner, but you have to be aware of this on a phone. Make sure, make sure to try out these various options. That's it.